The skies over Watertown will be busy on Eclipse Day. This will likely be the biggest uh, fly-in the airport has ever experienced. Right now we have 85 aircraft registered and that is the max. People flying in from across the Northeast and Canada to watch the solar eclipse at the Watertown International Airport. With over 40 planes also on standby, this will take a lot of coordination. We'll have a staff of flight line personnel to direct these aircraft into parking positions. So it's very similar to air, sh air show fly-ins and whatnot as far as aircraft uh, taxiing a certain route and then getting into a parking position. Now, due to its size, the Watertown Airport does not have a domestic terminal. So instead, for the day, the airport will create a temporary terminal inside this hangar here, where visitors can have access to things like food, entertainment, and other amenities. Places people can sit, some entertainment, and then also some food trucks uh, that we've set up in the main hangar. We'll also have transportation. Uh, we do have two trams that will be operating to the parking areas and bringing those pilots and passengers to the main gathering area here. With hopes that April 8th won't be the last time they land in Watertown. One of our objectives is welcoming these guests from out of town and sharing information about our region, the Thousand Islands region, and our county and our, our northern New York. and kind of sharing information about the attractions here and what's here so that these folks can come back and spend more time in our area and explore things. So there likely will be some big names touching down on Eclipse Day. Reporting from the Watertown International Airport, I'm Isabella Colello.